Hi everyone, uh, so I'm gonna try something new here. I'm gonna try a little bit of voiceover and uh, see how that goes um, and if I can keep talking for the length of this video, which is around eight minutes. Um, we'll see, hopefully it'll go well. I normally don't talk very much, uh, but I do have, uh, I do think about things and maybe this is a good way for me to kind of uh, exercise talking and uh, getting my thoughts to the foreground and uh, yeah, it'd probably be uh, good practice for me, you know, because uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, a lot of times drawing is a very uh, solitary thing to do and um, so you end up spending a lot of time in your head and alone and uh, not talking to people. So uh, I am very comfortable with silence and maybe a little too comfortable so when I'm around people uh, it actually it's almost like I have nothing to say uh, it's not that I don't have anything to say it's just kind of like my mind is kind of it's like I'm not exercising that muscle where you take your thoughts and you kind of meld them into the sounds you know what I mean like um, there's a sort of disconnect like it's even happening right now I'll, I'll lose track of words and um, yeah they'll just kind of slowly flop away from my brain and uh, I'll lose uh, my train of thought um, yeah but I'm hoping that this is something you know like kind of a uh, since I am spending a lot of time just sitting down and drawing uh, in my office and not really uh, being around people uh, maybe this could be a way to, uh, you know, kind of talk and get some stuff out of my head so I'm not always thinking about it. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's not going to be like some kind of therapy session. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's more like a ramble session and, uh, you know, just kind of like freeform thinking out loud. Yeah, hopefully it'll be uh, interesting stuff, you know, and fun for for everyone involved, including the listeners. Uh, but we'll see. I know if this doesn't work out, I'll go back to just kind of having uh, weird soundscapes and music in the background during my drawings. Uh, but I figure for the longer ones, you know, the ones that aren't two or three minutes, uh, maybe there needs to be something a little more interesting going on than just kind of a lot of wonky noises. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like four or five different soundscapes that I can reuse over and over again that are really they're like 20 minutes long each and uh, and then I'll just have a, a bed of sound I can talk over and uh, hopefully it won't be too hectic for everyone's brains and uh, it'll be uh, you know my goal is to for this to be relaxing uh, not a some sort of trial by sound fire and uh you know hopefully my voice isn't grating uh but this is my voice and this is how i talk so uh there's not much i can do about that i guess i could get like a vocoder and speak and robot tongue and uh you know that might be interesting but it also might be unintelligible so uh but uh yeah maybe i'll try that one one of these times uh when i get bored of talking about stuff. Um, yeah, so. I don't know, this drawing is kind of inspired by uh, something I grew up with, which was this uh, blue and green pattern paisley couch that my parents had as a kid. And uh, I feel like it must have been a couch from the late 70s. Because uh, it was, I don't think we got it new. Or maybe they got it new, but they had it new before I was born. And, because uh, I don't remember it being new. But it had all these great paisley patterns on them. And uh, when I was a little kid, you know, I didn't understand really what paisley was. But uh, I could even say I don't understand what paisley is now, uh, other than it's a pattern. But I just really liked it because it was like, you know, you look at it and it would be these floral patterns, but also it would be these weird, trippy, uh, intricate, uh, 
kind of mind-bending patterns, and then they'd also kind of look like fish or uh, some sort of animals or faces. And I remember as a kid, I used to just stare at this couch over and over again, and uh, you know, I'd be playing next to it, and then I'd find myself just kind of, you know, caught just kind of staring at the patterns for a long time. And uh, so every once in a while, I'll do a doodle like this, which is just kind of like, you know, it's not really about thinking. It's about not thinking and just kind of like relaxing and concentrating on repetition and pattern and just kind of getting into the zone. This drawing took a pretty long time, but you'll notice like sometimes the lighting changes and even the focus changes. There's a, some part of this is pretty blurry. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but uh, uh, it does get blurry at one point and I'm sorry about that, but uh, this thing, I would work on it for like an hour, hour and a half here or there, and uh, then have to take a break because I was, I was going, you know, there's only so much Paisley you can draw, and uh, uh, yeah, so I, I, I kind of drew this over the course of maybe one or two days. Uh, I probably took around somewhere between three and four hours to draw, um, which is funny because there's not really much to this drawing. It's just kind of, uh, you know, let's just fill all the space with weird squiggles. You know, it's one of those kind of drawings. There's nothing really intellectual about about it or behind it or, you know, it's not an exercise in form or uh, uh, it's just kind of an exercise in pattern and uh, just trying to make something organic and repetitious but not make it seem kind of dead you know like it it really especially in this video with it sped up it feels like it's kind of growing out of nothing you know and if I sped it up even more uh, you probably get that uh, feeling uh, even more you know so um, yeah the paisley couch it all comes back to the paisley couch for this one um, really great I wish I could I should probably look online and see if I can find the pattern but it was some really cool like fluorescent dark blues and light blues and greens and uh, there was a lot more white space on the couch than I'm putting in this drawing but uh, it was cool nonetheless um, so yeah that's about uh, going to do it for the first video. Uh, let me know what you think of me talking, if it's something I should keep doing, or something I should not do ever again. Let me know, and I probably won't listen to some of you, and I'll probably listen to some of the other ones. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.